Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology. And uh, well, of course, one of the comments and a lot of, of, of comments that I've seen on 24H2 about, um, you know, why am I suggesting that you can block it with, of course, using the metered connection. And of course, um, you know, some of the comments go with, well, you know, you should, why are you showing that? Because it's a great version, 24H2, and, you know, why prevent people from moving on to 24H2? Or, And, of course, I've got all the people that have problems with or did have problems with 24H2 and so on. So, uh, And, of course, one of the comments that comes a lot is, well, isn't 24H2 is that bad? So here's the thing. 24H2 is actually good. Um, it's better than what the um, the users are saying. I have 24H2 everywhere, and it works just great. And most people that have it don't have any issues with it. And the thing is, is everything that happened has happened. And if you have a PC that doesn't have, um, you know, needs to um, not have 24H2 for some reason because of a blocker, you already don't see it. It's already blocked. So you just wait for it. It will ha actually appear at some point. So I got it here on this machine. I got it on my gaming laptop. I got it, um, well, I've got an insider on, on the other machine. I've got it in my, uh, I got 24H2 on my Acer Nitro Gaming also. I mean, it works fine. It even works on my unsupported Toshiba, 10 years old Toshiba. So I have zero problems on five machines. And the majority of people have zero problems with 24H2. So the bad rep comes from all the stuff that, yes, did happen and did actually uh, break some of the things for some users. And that, of course, is sad when it happens. It had a higher than average uh, problem uh, than previous um, builds. But the thing is, 24H2 is a much bigger upgrade than 23H2 was and 22H2 was, which were very small, you know, updates that were added to the original Windows 11. Um, a lot of people, I said, I don't see why going to 24H2 is important because I don't see any difference. Well, there's tons of differences. They're just not differences in your face that you will notice. They're mostly under the hood. But they, there is a lot of difference in under the hood, and there's a lot of changes in some of the, the, the things, including hardware. For example, if you want to have the latest Wi-Fi, if you buy the latest Wi-Fi 7 uh, devices, you need Windows 11 24H2. 23H2 does not work with a Wi-Fi 7. So there's things like that that are under the hood, but it's you don't see that. So you have the impression 24H2 is a small update when it's actually a pretty big one. Um, the thing is, you will have to move on to 24H2 at some point because anyways, um, that's the way these build works. They have two-year lives. So basically, 23H2 will end its life by the end of this year. Now, of course, we'll probably have 25H2 at some point where but you probably will have to go to 24H2 to move on to 25H2 anyways. So why do I provide blockers uh, or ways to block it? Because I know some people are comfortable on 23H2 and are not uh, the kind of people that necessarily want to move on right away. And it's fine. If you want to stay to 23H2, that's why I actually showed that metered connection exists so that it doesn't show up for now because I know some of you, that's what you want. I'm here to provide some of the features, some of the things that you can use that will be helpful to you depending on your situation and what you want to do. That's why. Second of all, I got a lot of people that commented saying, well, why do, don't you want people to move on to the best, you know, more secure version? 24H2 is neither the best nor is it more secure than 23H2. Okay, let's put that straight. It's a newer version of Windows 11. That's all. It has new features, more secure. There's nothing more secure in 24H2 than 23H2. It did, okay? There are people out there that are like, I always want the latest, greatest update, and it's fine if you're in that category. 
I know a lot of people wanted to go to 24H2. That is fine. I'm part of those. And I went to 24H2 on my machines. Actually, on mine, it was offered on all machines, except the one I'm using right now. I forced it. And it works fine. So, um, you know, it, it depends what you want. And that's why I'm showing different ways. If you want to block it, I show you the way where you can block it for now. If you want to move on, you want to move on. Last but not least, for a couple of questions I've seen, um, one, well, a few that are similar. I got two machines that are exactly the same. One was offered 24H2, the other, the other uh, was not. Um, I don't understand. Well, there's, you know, there's, there's part of it which is Microsoft, which you don't always understand, um, that simply um, maybe hasn't yet offered it to your machine because they go in waves. And even if you have two exact same machine, doesn't mean both of them are actually getting the same thing at the same time. It's kind of a wave thing. So basically, one got it, and at some point, the other one's going to get it. Uh, there's no logic necessarily in why uh, why I don't have it on both. The other thing also I want to say here is that um, it's not impossible that a blocker appeared after one of your machines updated to 24H2 also. And that blocker now exists for your machine for some reason. And blockers doesn't mean that your machine is going to break down and not work if you are, um, if you are, you know, using it. It's just that in some cases it could have problems, but it doesn't mean that the config is there, that there's problems for everybody. It's, it's, you know, it could be for some, it could be, for, and, and there, it could be fun for others. So all of these little questions here, um, but overall, it's, it's simple. If you look at the, the statistics, the data, the big, big majority of everybody going to 24H2 have absolutely zero problems. So it is not a buggy update per se in the sense that most people are okay, but it is buggier to move on with a lot of systems that have very specific problems that Microsoft has actually made blockers to. So when you see 24H2 appear on your machine as an offer, it should be fine because the blockers are there for those that they know there's a problem. But if there's no blocker on your machine, it's because it should be okay. And there shouldn't be any problems with 24H2. So like I said here, I got five machines and none of them has problem with 24H2. So this is to answer all the questions that I've seen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.